in this problem we have a sentence of different words so there will be word 1 then space word 2 space and so on and there may be uh, spaces in the end also so we have to find the length of last word in this sentence so you can think of multiple ways so you can start traversing from left and you can tokenize this either using the split function in the languages like java and python or you can use a string stream in C++ to separate the words and then you find the last word and return its length but there is a small uh, optimization that can be done here is that uh, let's say this sentence has many many words it has thousands of words so we are unnecessarily kind of tokenizing it so this is the optimization that you can think of so we will start from the end so there may be some extra spaces so ignore them as soon as we find a non-space character we start our count from there and keep incrementing the count until we hit another space or in the worst case if this is a, has just one word then we will reach the beginning so either of those two scenarios so either first space you encounter from this point obviously there are some spaces after that or you reach the beginning both of these cases we stop and return the length so uh, let's take an example although it's not required for this kind of a problem so let's say we have hello space there may be multiple spaces world and let's say there are few more spaces and there are six seven spaces here so what we will do uh, again uh, it's up to you if you want to use a split or string stream you can use that but that may lead to some unnecessary tokenization so we will start from here we see it's a space and let's say our result is zero so it's a space so we don't increment it space 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 now this is not space so we increment result to one again not space again increment and increment all the way till here till w then it will become five next when we decrement it it's a space so we return this value if this is more than zero in these all cases result was not getting increased so it was not more than zero and we will anyway stop when we reach the beginning so we will return whatever is the result so let's see both of these ways and uh, we will try to run both the cases one by tokenization and one by just traversing from the end and we will see if we can uh, reproduce that kind of scenario where the time taken is more in the earlier case So while there is a word we will not do anything so this body this loop body is empty and in the end we return word dot length and let's see how much time it takes we may not be able to reproduce this scenario depending on the test cases so it's 4 milliseconds so looks like we are not that lucky to reproduce that scenario let's submit again again 4 milliseconds so now let's do the optimal case where there will we will be just starting from the end and we will stop as soon as uh, we hit we reach the end of a last word so in that way we will not process the complete string and result is 0 so this is the length of last word so n is not a valid index n minus 1 is the last index so minus minus n or you can also compare just n and then decrement it and then here we will need to add the check greater than equal to so if this is not equal to space then that means we are uh, iterating through a word the last word
else if it's not a space then we check that if result length is greater than 0 then return it since we we are now entering we have crossed the first word then only result was greater than 0 else if we did not find any word or there was just one word then this loop will end due to this condition and not this case so we will return whatever is the result uh, so there is one error here so n, n is not equal to space then we increment the result ok so return Now it's correct. And the solution is accepted. And we are here in 0 millisecond. So you can see the difference, although this difference may not be due to that. But maybe this is the genuine difference. Here we have used the optimized solution and we reached here 0 millisecond. In our earlier solution, we tried twice and we never reached 0 millisecond. Now let's write this optimized solution in Python and Java. And the Java solution is accepted. And here also it's 0 millisecond, that is 100%. Finally, we will do it in Python 3. So its time complexity can be of the order of the string length. Although if uh, the length of last word is very small compared to the complete string, then time complexity will be of the order of word. So time complexity is of the order of word length I am writing L for last word but in the worst case there may be just one long word and which is same as the string itself so in that case it can go up to n but obviously for most practical cases it would be of the order of length of last word only and if you do tokenization it will be always O of n in this case O of W and Wn is less than or equal to n in space we are not using any extra space other than the result variable so it's o of 1 And the Python solution is also accepted.